some would play. So I've heard rumors. Parking spots in Chicago. And so I've Chicago heard sucks. rumors of like, there's some blocks in New York where like at three in the morning, everyone will go out and like all drive around the block simultaneously to get their spots back. But they have to move it like at least once a month for street cleaning or something. No. Uh. So in Chicago, you have to move it at least once every five days. Mm-hmm. And they track it. There are people that will come and will mark. So, well, that's that's important for the police to do that. You know, instead yeah. of solving the crimes, I'd rather them do that than shoot people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like with a twenty percent solve rate on crimes, I think it's important for them to not be working on crimes and instead just be harassing the normies. Of course, like yeah, road so- pirates. And then there was one time cops. <laughs> that it was, it had snowed really bad. Uh huh. And I had to park on a street that I wasn't used to parking on. Yeah. And it realized I had parked right in front of a fire hydrant because it was covered in snow. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. See, stuff like that. Where Got it's me. Like, be, like, be a decent person and have some common sense here. Yeah. No. Nope. Got me. That's not um, what There to was do. another time. Okay. So I remember the first time I ever dealt with street cleaning because I didn't know street cleaning was a thing mm-hmm. because we don't have that here in Indianapolis. We just clean our own streets. Like, I don't even know what street. I've never heard of street cleaning. And so there was it one day downtown. where I legit was like, oh, it's my lucky day. I have plenty of room to park on this street. Without realizing that the next <laughs> that the next day was street cleaning day, like th- there was a reason it was. They should have cleaned empty. you up. Um, because normally they put up signs. Mm-hmm. There was no signs on this street. There were signs on the other streets in the little neighborhood, but not on that one. Mm-hmm. Got me there. Hardcore. <laughs> like they're legit. Like I actually got really mad because my landlord. Mm-hmm. He actually rented two spots for parking. He had like a little drive next to the apartment building. Oh, excuse me. And he rented them. And then I found out that one had opened up and then he rented it to a person who doesn't even live in the building. And I was like, God damn it. Why didn't you ask people who lived in the building first? Because he had a friend. Yeah, because capitalism is a fucking cancer. Jesus Christ. Renting out parking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Late stage capitalism, baby, it's the best. He it's actually, just, I actually nobody really like wants that to middle. change it, so we just have to watch it all burn in real time. It's wild, but yeah, it's like socialism. They're like, you run out of other people's money. It's like, but that's the same thing with fucking capitalism. The poor can't afford to buy your shit. I'm pretty you sure I got a parking ticket the for every reason Excuse you can get a parking me. ticket in Chicago. Just skip breakfast. Yeah, just skip breakfast. You'll <laughs> be fine. You just skip breakfast. It's like. Oh Jesus Christ! The newest thing was what you know. What people need is 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 like time to reflect and stuff. And the commute is good for that. Oh, God damn it! I just want to murder everyone writing these articles. Have they mm-hmm. tried to reflect while being? I'm just gonna. There go. was one time I literally was so scrunched up Going on an on L train Jesus. that my face was in somebody else's boobs. Love that. Like I was just sitting there and I was just like. And I couldn't turn around. I tried really hard. <laughs> that was the most awkward spot. But we were just so jam packed in. Yes, I'm gonna reflect. That I'm gonna, you know, take some time to meditate at mm-hmm. while my face is my elbows boobs. No. Yeah, no. Chicago sucks. It's sort of the worst. I don't know anybody like likes Chicago. I just met somebody who was like, "Oh, I'm I really like Chicago. I wish I could live there." No. And I'm like, "But why?" I visited you there. It's. Bullshit. That place is bullshit. It's also one of the most mm. racist cities. This place is this place is way better. Which is weird because this is place weird, sucks. Weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> Paris is the Chicago of France. I think so. I it wanna, smells like piss, I've heard. I want to go on it record. Does. Yeah, Paris sucks. It absolutely smells like piss. Chicago I heard, yeah, sucks, I heard Paris there's sucks. just a smell of piss in the air. It's the worst. That's because they have these little things along the river where All guys people nailed it. <laughs> Where guys could just like step into to pee and it just goes into the river. Yeah. Gross. Dope. That's a good thing, but Paris in general. No, bullshit. that's why it smells like piss. Eh. It's got guys pissing everywhere. Well, guys are going to piss everywhere regardless. So you might as well give us a place to do it. I was. And they're just I like walking the down the goddamn sidewalk. You're just like walking the sidewalk and you turn and you're like, oh my God, I'm next to somebody pissing. <sighs> Hell yeah. <laughs> gotta go. You gotta go. Look, you gotta stop being a prude about peeing. Peeing is totally no, natural. No, I'm being approved about sex 
sexism because the guys can go pee there, but the girls can't. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody's going to physically stop you from taking a pop and a squat. Taking a pop and a squat. <laughs> eh? Pop the squat. Stop it. Stop it. And everyone's cool because it's just pee. You're getting up with the kids tomorrow. Everybody poops. Nobody poops but you. That's the Catholic version. I've never pooped ever in my life ever. <laughs> no, not a once. That's why my eyes are so brown. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh god so we gotta like god damn i mean you knew someone was the rat and it was always gonna be Eris. yeah i do recall saying from the very beginning are we sure we want to be telling about this plan to murder uh all the gods yeah we're all like yeah it's fine <laughs> Was it who told her? Was it me? It might have been Joey. Well, there was a couple people sitting around that table. Yeah, mm. I don't remember at this point. So, all right, let's all split up and kill the gods individually. <laughs> they won't see it coming. They'll expect us to see, attack. We've got like party. these side quests. We have to go find Martell. I have uh, to go find these things for explosive. For it sounds important to be able to go kill some gods of fire. What was it? Fire that can go through smoke. Yeah, the means to transmit fire through smoke, yeah. Yeah. That's Sounds like normal, like how fire works. Did the alchemist discover how fire works? <laughs> <laughs> He's really fucking excited. <laughs> Magic exists in this world. That may just be it. I mean, he he just invented that shit from, uh, uh, what was that green fire they used in um, Game of Thrones? Greek fire? Green, green oh. fire. Oh, yeah. Remember when Tyrion set the whole fucking bay on fire and blew up all those attacking ships? It with was that, called vodka. With that green know, fucking like chemical it, it fire could do bullshit. Some damage. And we got a whole mount to. Oh, um, we could just light the whole it. fucking mountain on fire. Yeah, we're going to use this green stuff to do it. I'd probably take care of it. So, yeah, we'll just wait a few weeks, <laughs> hang out here in Aspasia, go back to the Cronus' farm, you know, hang out. Maybe play some cards. Act I'm, like we're I'm doing worried. nothing. Maybe Eris is full of shit. And then the other gods would be like, what's happening? They're not even attacking us. Are you a liar? Get complacent. And Eris is like, of course I'm a liar. And they're like, you're dead. And then they kill Eris because like, <laughs> she was like, they're coming to kill you. And they were like, all right, well, we're going to cut off their fucking ambrosia and shit. And then all we do is sit around for two weeks and play cards with Kronos and them. And they're like, okay, they're not coming to kill us, Eris, you dumb dumb. We look like fools now. We cut off their ambrosia like we're a so bunch we do, of pussies. So we do. We spend two weeks at Cronus's. Ooh, I, I bet we can clean some stables while we're there. Oh, for sure. Oh, well, you go ahead. And, and like just the gods will be like, we it. look like a bunch of fucking no, no, no. dorks we now, get, like, cutting off their fucking ambrosia for nothing. They're not oh, even yeah. trying to kill us. And they'll like give us our ambrosia back and shit, and then we'll be like, here we come, bitch. Yeah, because at this point we no longer have the element of surprise. <gasps> Maybe hold on. No, 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 no. Let's no, take no, no. two weeks of playing okay, cards. Wait, first, let's put our characters back together so they can actually have this conversation. And then in that conversation, we should go clean the... St- I think we should go clean the stables. Mm-hmm. That way we can be like, what are you talking about? Eris said we were going to do... DM, stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> Was the stables things next? I think so. Well, we, we, don't, we could do the test in any order. But yeah, what I'm saying, it doesn't even matter what task it was. We could go do one of the tasks, Mm -hmm. right? And then they'd be like, whoever, whoever's God oversaw that task, right? They could be like, "Um, we thought you were going to come, come kill us. What? What? Look, we're finishing (laughs) the tasks. Yeah, we did the thing. What do you want from us? You said do the thing. We do the thing. They would be there and then we could kill them. And then they'd be like, well, Eris told us, well, of course she would tell you. She's the goddess of discord. Yeah, she's like, crazy. Yeah. You know her. We what are you talking them. about? Do you think we could trick the gods? I like this plan. Yeah, we can mm-hmm. trick the gods. Let's trick And then all we the can gods. get some XP in doing the task. Exactly. <laughs> and we get some XP doing the task. And, we level up. And then it can be Archerud. I love it. I love. Let's do this, guys. All right. Four. Okay, now we got to get our, our group back together so we can actually hatch that plan. See, I come up with good plans sometimes. I contribute to the team. <laughs> it's jelly who like turns into these giant monstrous things and does all this damage she's like yeah yeah Nath, you contribute to the team and pats my head yeah what we do is we learn a spell 
an ultimate spell. No, that no. That goes beyond the rules of Dungeons and Dragons. Stop it allows it. us to win. No. Okay. So we were doing these tasks. Mm-hmm. That basically the tasks, the same ones that Hercules did. Mm-hmm. Come a god. And so the idea is we can we go and do the next task. And whenever we finish a task, one of the gods shows up. And so we can be like, oh, look, no, we're finishing the task. What are you talking about that we might stab you in the back? So that we can still surprise them in stabbing them in the back. And then we kill Eris first chance we get. That's true, too. She's the first one to go. She's number one. <laughs> I don't know if I like that plan. <laughs> but we also get XP for doing the task. And so we can level up and get a little buffer. Because right now, Ambrosia is not working. They'll be like... Weren't you going to kill us? And be like, we're going to do what? Who told you that? What? Eris? <laughs> and then we stab her in front Eris of Eris like, is the this goddess bitch. of discord. Of course she would say that. Yeah, She's just looking for a shit, good get, show. Get. Son. What's that look for? Justin's not for it. Okay, what's going on? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Full frontal assault on the gods. That's also not a good idea. We don't have the element of surprise right now. We need to get them. We don't need surprise. We need to get them. I'm just going to go do it myself. Me and Electo. Electo, you in? Yeah, I'm in. All right. We're going to go kill the gods. Good luck, everybody. You guys are good. All right. You guys go do- Do we have to kill all the gods? You guys take a nap. Not all of them. Most of them. All of the ones we know, and then some of the ones we don't know. Well, I'm just saying, are there any that would definitely be on our side? Kronos. And Dolos. And Dolos. Aries. Aries. Hephaestus? Maybe you should check in with Hephaestus. (laughs) No. Is Hades still feared about his brother, you know, getting to a Oh, yeah. Hades is totally on our side. Athena. I thought we were. I might want to check in with Athena. (laughs) We lost Hera's embrace. You know, Hera should be on our side because we're going after Zeus. Yeah, but we might have lost Hera's embrace because we no longer have the godling thing. Well, how about this? Which one would cripple them the most? Like. Do they still require like Hermes or Mercury to deliver their messages for them? Or are they able to communicate like telepathically? Ooh, what if we kidnap Hermes? See, this is where I'm thinking. This is where you start breaking everything down. Or kill Hermes. (laughs) I think the first thing we need to do is get our characters back together so we could actually have this conversation. (laughs) I I would literally think we should have this in a secret place somewhere. Yeah. (laughs) Zatoichi wants I've got a secret place. Is it a magnificent mansion? No. It's a throne room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know where the crown is. Also has a door to Olympus. So, you know. Speaking of doors, didn't we encounter, didn't Neath encounter some doors in the last episode? Well, you wouldn't know that because, oh, yes. 